The arrival of Intel's 10th gen Comet-like desktop processors come at what feels like a crucial time. AMD's Ryzen chips have always beaten the core range for value and multi-threading power, leaving Intel with a single core performance advantage. In the space of just three years, Intel finds itself in vital need of something that makes its CPUs special. Hello everyone and welcome back to TechSynth, the YouTube channel where technology is simplified. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Intel's newly released Core i5 10600K processor and why AMD Ryzen should be worried. All that and more coming up. For the longest time, something like the Intel Core i5 10600K was like a pipe dream, an affordable mainstream processor from Intel with hyper-threading enabled. However, thanks to pressure from AMD, Team Blue has stopped reserving hyper-threading for the top of its product stack, bringing it down to the entire Comet Lake S lineup, even the Pentiums. For the first time in a while, in the same price window, both the Intel Core i5 10600K and the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X have the same amount of cores and threads, which is good for everyone. Traditionally, the Core i5 has been the go-to for PC gamers looking for an awesome gaming performance without having to fork out loads of cash for a flagship processor. With AMD Ryzen 3000 on the market claiming performance wins left and right, the Intel Core i5 10600K has a lot to prove if Intel wants to keep that mainstream gaming crown. The Intel Core i5 10600K is available now for a suggested retail price of about £210, which puts it squarely up against the £239 AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. However, keep in mind that Intel doesn't directly control retail prices in the same way that AMD does, and you may see higher prices for this processor. Still, these two processors being this close together in price, with nearly identical specs is awesome. Both are 6-core, 12-thread processors, which will allow mid-range buyers of both Intel and AMD to gain benefits that multi-threading brings to content creation. The Intel Core i5 10600K does have a higher boost clock going up to 4.8GHz, as opposed to the 4.4GHz that the 3600X reaches, but that doesn't matter quite as much as it used to. Unlike its big sibling, the Core i9-10900K, the Intel Core i5 10600K offers a substantial upgrade in both single and multi-core performance across the board. In Signbench R20, the single core score goes up to 479 from 469, thanks to that 200MHz clock speed improvement. But the inclusion of hyper-threading sees the multi-score jump all the way from 2508 to 3548, a massive 30% generational improvement. In gaming, however, the Intel Core i5 10600K really shows its strength. Even in the incredibly CPU-heavy Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the Core i5 10600K keeps up with the 10900K, a processor that costs nearly twice as much. Intel Core i5 processors have always been an easy recommendation for users that want a great gaming experience, but don't want to spend £2,000 on a gaming rig to get it. If you're going to get any Intel Comet Lake S processor, this is probably the one to get. The Intel Core i5 10600K is a massive improvement over the 9600K in pretty much every way, especially if you're looking to do more than just gaming. Both multi-core and single-core performance gets a huge bump, and while power consumption also sees a massive increase, temperatures miraculously don't. You will have to live without PCIe 4.0, which is definitely a shame, as any system you build with this processor won't be as future-proof as it would be with the AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. But at the end of the day, you're getting some incredible performance for the money, and that will likely get even better if you overclock it. That's about it for this video, but if you enjoyed it, make sure you like the video and subscribe with notifications on. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.